just obviously not the result that you wanted this weekend. What are some of the things that you feel like positives you could take from this game and build on the next week? Yeah, I think I think the the big positives again. I think our guys are continuing to uh, compete for sixty minutes. Obviously, there's things we got to do in between there, but um, you know, our guys were very disappointed in the outcome. Um, preparation was really good going into the game last week, and we got off to a really slow start, and especially defensively. Uh, but again, you know, I think uh, it's it's another game under Peyton's belt. You know, if you you really break it down and look at his collegiate career, he hasn't had a lot of starts, so. Um, you know, obviously, I think that's something he's going to learn from and grow from. Um, you know, we've got finally found a niche for DJ a little bit. You know, he's a, a very interesting young man, a interesting story. And so kind of getting him settled, uh, getting him to be able to get lined up and utilizing him in different ways. I thought that was a really positive thing. Kobe Clark uh, continues to play well. And then, you know, Alex Spadone has, has been battling some injuries this year, our ex receiver. But I thought he did some really, really good things last week. Um, so yeah, there's some things that we can take away from that. We're good, but obviously there's some, there's a lot of things we got to do better. You know, and uh, in, in terms of Vancell, so obviously you know having the opportunity to go to a guy like Vancell in certain situations is extremely helpful for your quarterback room, for your team, all these different things. So in your mind, how valuable were, were those reps this weekend for him personally, and then also for your team overall to see a different look behind quarterback? Yeah, it is, and it's something he's got to learn from. You know, I mean. Uh, he'll be the first to tell you, you know, he threw two passes and they were both intercepted and he, he just flat shouldn't have thrown either one of those passes. Um, you know, and that's something we, we got to continue to work on him with is, is just staying inside himself, staying inside the scheme. I think we have a pretty good idea of, um, you know, what he's good at. I tell you what he's doing a really good job of is, is game when we're game planning, looking at stuff and being able to tell us like, you know, I'm just not comfortable with that, which is awesome, man. You want the, there's nothing better as a head coach than to, to have a guy who doesn't think he can do everything. Um, and we're going to continue to grow that relationship and, and pick his brain as we move through the week. So, you know, those are all things getting a little bit more comfortable with the receivers throwing to him. I think it's is something that's you're going to continue to see uh, go in a really positive way the last three weeks. Yeah, and uh, this is the first time that you guys are under 500 since the uh, first loss to SMU. So, what are some of the things that you feel like you can do to be able to get back to 500 and finish the season on strong? Well, you know, again, the thing that I'm seeing, it's 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 a good and bad thing. It's like there's just – we have a buzz where we talk about 111th, do your job, and there's just right now there's some guys just – it's like they want to do so well. They they want to win. They want to take strain for their teammates, um, for their team. It's they're doing too much. Uh, they're not locking in mentally, and and in turn, it's it's causing them to play. Their physical portion of the game isn't there. They're just they're straining too hard mentally. Um, that's something we've got to get fixed, and it's something we preach about continuously. It's not again, it's not a lack of effort. It's it's guys trying to do too much, and then, you know, um, yeah, we've got a tough game Saturday. We've got a t tough game the following week, and you know, got uh, Sam the last week, so. Uh, well, we've got a big challenge in front of us, but I think we're up to the task. We've had a good, really good week of practice. Our guys are excited. Um, one o'clock kickoff. I think it's going to be in the 50s uh, at game time. So um, that's what I really like about our team, their resilience. You know, we, we talk about the 24-hour rule, whether it's good or bad. Winter, I've really seen that in them all year, man, just their ability to come in, process, um, learn from their mistakes, have a good growth mindset, and then turn around and be like, all right, we're, we're on. And I've, I've seen that from him this week. So uh, that's exciting as a coach. Awesome, Coach. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're really touching on this this week. Jacksonville State beat Florida State earlier this season. So what does the scout report look like for this team? Yeah, they're, um, they're an interesting ball club. Obviously, they opened the year against UAB, who's a really good football team. Uh, and then, you know, a couple weeks later, turn around and beat Florida State. Uh, they have a quarterback who, you know, depending on who you talk to, as they say, he's going to be a, a draft day guy. Uh, he's a very good uh, player. Um, they've had some injuries, you can tell, in and out with receivers. But I think the thing that really stands out to me, uh, start with their defense, very athletic defense. It'll be the right there with Central Arc, um, just the, the type of defensive line they have. And then turn around on offense, everything they do really goes through the quarterback. Um, they've got a good running back, good, good skill guys. And so, you know, they're a storied uh, program. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're disappointed in a couple of the losses they have. And so, um, you know, they're going to be ready to go. So what is one of the big things you really want your guys to take from the last game with the loss against SFA? 
make it to this game for Jacksonville State in order to play better? Yeah, you know, that I know I sound like a broken record, but again, I just it it's it's proven statistically in college football the number one uh, statistic on winning or losing is turnover margin. And you know, you look at the games we've won this year, we've had good turnover margin. The games we lost, we haven't. You know, we were negative two again uh, Saturday in turnover margin, and we we can't do that. Um, the things that I think we're doing really good that we got to continue in a set, we're playing really good special teams right now, really good. Um, we're close on kickoff return. Uh, what we're doing um, with our punt block team's good. Punt's been really good. Our punters hang time, location, keeping it away. And so those are things we got to build on again uh, to win those hidden yardages. And then defensively, just, you know, just be aggressive. And we, we, we use the motto, shoot your guns. And, and, you know, we didn't do that Saturday against our RPOs. Block destruction wasn't good. And, you know, those things we focus on this week. And we got to get guys to trust what we're teaching them, leverage the football, and go up there and collision it. It's been great. You know, I, again, I just I think our guys have a lot of resilience. I think they uh, care for each other deeply. They like being uh, together. We like being together as a team. And, you know, it's been a lot of fun. I know I've said that um, people that have asked me, I've, I've had a lot of fun this year with our guys and going to continue to do that. They're a good group. And then last thing for me, going back to the game on Saturday, Mercy Buda had a really great game, kicked his career long. So what are your thoughts on his yeah, I've just uh, again one of the th the field goal stands out. Obviously, that was huge, and uh, Blair would tell you he'd missed a couple of those earlier in the year. He'd like to have back. The thing that doesn't show up unless you're really looking at it is his ability to uh, place the football and kickoffs. Uh, the last two weeks we've had really dangerous return guys. We've got one again this week. So. Um, our plan on kickoff is really good because we can kick it deep left, short left, deep. Not not all kickers can do that and have really good placement. So um, we're as proud of him for that because he, he's a weapon right now uh, in, in our arsenal.